Hello, I'm Mike Johnson, director of the Center for Pharmaceutical Biotechnology at the University of Illinois at Chicago. In this brief videotape, we would like to introduce you to a new software approach for NMR-based protein structure determination that we have developed at the University of Illinois. We believe that this new strategy offers significant advantages in improved accuracy, reduced CPU requirements, and simplicity in the build-up procedure. To demonstrate the current implementation and some of the capabilities of this new strategy, let me introduce three of my colleagues. Dr. Simon Sherman is a mathematical physicist who has developed the basic algorithms for this approach. Dr. Leela Carr is an NMR spectroscopist and theoretician who has developed various applications. Mr. Alan Verlo is a computer visualization specialist who has developed the visualization software. Dr. Carr will now describe some of the features of this software as she, Simon, and Alan demonstrate the various components. The current version of the FISI NOE program runs on a personal computer. It is a user-friendly program with convenient pull-down menus for the input and editing of amino acid sequences and NOE information. Only the presence or absence of the sequential deconnectivities D alpha N, D N N, and D beta N is used. No intensity information is required. In addition to the experimental NOE data, the program uses empirical phi psi distributions derived from the protein data bank and obtains the first two statistical moments, the mathematical expectation and the standard deviation for the backbone dihedrals consistent with the NMR data. The results, that is the phi psi values, along with their corresponding probabilities and standard deviations, may be displayed graphically or in a tabular form. The program may also be used to compare the backbone conformations of two structures. The example shown here compares the backbone conformation of bovine pancreatic trypsin inhibitor derived from NMR data with that observed by X-ray. The next generation version of our build-up strategy will be on a silicon graphics workstation, taking advantage of its effective three-dimensional visualization. The backbone conformation is displayed as an ellipsoid. The coordinates of the center of the ellipsoid represent the mathematical expectations for phi and psi, while the axes show the standard deviations. The colors indicate the polarity and charged nature of the individual amino acid residues. Pattern recognition locates the secondary structural elements, such as helices, sheets, and turns. The three-dimensional visualization simplifies the process of comparing two structures. This is illustrated using horse cytochrome C in the reduced and oxidized forms. The differences in backbone conformation between the two states of the molecule are displayed more effectively in coordinate space using an X-ray model. A ribbon tracing of the reduced structure is shown here. Yellow has been used to show residues that are unaffected by redox transition. Magenta represents residues which show significant conformational changes upon oxidation, and most of these are clustered around the heme, shown here in white. It is the high accuracy of the phi psi NOE method that makes such comparisons meaningful. The accuracy of this method is at least twice better than that of other currently available methods used for solution structure determination from NMR data. As you have seen, our new strategy offers significant advantages in improved accuracy of local residue structure determination, reduced CPU requirements in generating initial protein structures, and avoidance of the multiple local minimum problem that is common to many approaches. This new strategy and its software implementation have substantial advantages for full protein structure buildup. The strategy also is particularly advantageous in cases where the protein structure is underdetermined due to insufficient NMR constraints, a very common problem in NMR spectroscopy. Thus, our strategy has particular strengths in cases where conventional methodologies either fail or yield poorly resolved structures. Our current goals are focused on the development of an integrated build-up approach that includes the strengths of both conventional methodology and of our new build-up strategy.